I'm gonna give you everything you need to know about the electric blue Jack Dempsey in about three minutes or less. The reason why they call it the electric blue Jack Dempsey, at least in the research that I've done, is because of its jawline resembling the boxer Jack Dempsey. This fish also never, never existed in the wild. It is 100% a product of human um, manipulation through selective breeding. Being a Jack Dempsey, you would assume that this fish is a very, very mean fish, but it is actually way less aggressive than the original Jack Dempsey and grows slower. So if you're thinking about putting this fish in with more aggressive fish, you might want to think twice, especially seeing as how you're probably paying more than a regular Jack Dempsey for this fish. Personally, I've had this fish with angelfish, barbs, and semi-aggressive cichlids as long as they are on the low side of semi-aggressive. Normally in Jack Dempsey's, you can tell the male or female by the blue patches. The female, female Jack Dempsey of a normal Jack Dempsey will have a blue patch at the bottom of his jaw. Obviously, that's not the case with this, seeing that the whole thing is blue. The coloration on the electric blue Jack Dempsey for the male and female are both brilliant. The male will get to be about eight inches. Take him a long time to get there, but he'll get there. The female, maybe six. Because of its size, you're gonna wanna at least put it into a 40 breeder or above. The male will also have longer streamers um, on its dorsal and anal fin. Because of its genetic manipulation, you're gonna wanna feed it a high quality food. Unfortunately, this fish, while in recent years have become stronger, have been known to be quite delicate. So you're gonna wanna keep your water tight. You're gonna wanna feed it the best foods and you're not gonna wanna put it in with any cheaper fish that's gonna kill it. Because paying $5 for a fish to kill your $25 fish would be tragic. Oddly enough, I had mine in a planet tank, but it is so not necessary. It was something that I tried and it worked. So if you have a planet tank and you're thinking about a Jack Dempsey, just know that they will have a tendency to wanna mess up the gravel. So keep that in mind if you're putting them in a planet tank. Like all of my cichlids, I keep my electric blue Jack Dempsey in at least 82 degree water. And they seem to really, really enjoy that. pH, they seem to be pretty pH tolerant, but like I said, for the price, if you can get your pH at around 7.0 to 7.5, that would be ideal. If you talk to any old timer fish people, you they would probably steer you away from getting an electric blue jack Dempsey. But I'm telling you, if you find somebody that has an electric blue jack Dempsey that has grown to a decent size, ask them where they got it from. It's all about breeding when it comes to electric blue jack Dempsey. If you get your fish from a breeder that is inbreeding them way too much, they're going to be seriously weak. Get your fish from a breeder that has been proven to uh, diverse the bloodline so that it can be stronger. I would not shy away from this fish, but I would be very careful as to other fish I put in there for tank mates. Thank you for watching. If this video gave you any type of value in your fish keeping hobby, please hit the thumbs up. It's a small gesture on your part, but it means a lot to my channel. I added some other videos that I think you'd be interested in. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, please hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and in the comments below, let me know what other fish you'd like me to do a three minutes or less on.